Hey everybody, uh, kind of wanted to do some uh, real talk today. Real talk with Justin and the nerds. Um, kind of wanted to do a little bit something a little bit more serious. Usually we're just ripping packs or looking at comic books or coins or just goofing around and having a good time. And that's what the hobby is all about. Honestly, the hobby has uh, really brought down my stress level a lot. Just being able to uh, devote some time to goofing off instead of just work, 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 work all the time. Um, the, the hobby and YouTube, the community uh, has been a godsend. Uh, sounds weird, probably sounds weird to most of you, but um, it really has helped me deal with my stress. Um, and so I really appreciate that. So for everybody that watches my videos and, and uh, comments and, and we get to, to see each other's collections and just goof off together, and sometimes, you know, help each other out through some pretty serious stuff. Um, I appreciate it. This one is going to be a more serious video. Uh, I, I, it is time for me to do another segment of uh, where I, we're doing stuff for my kid. So what I do is I have two shoe boxes right now. Two shoe boxes. And in one shoe box, I have just a bunch of unopened packs uh, that I saved. And so every once in a while, I'll... Uh, when I, when I get a box, um, whether a hobby box or a blaster box or whatever it is, um, I'll pull out some packs and I'll add it here. Um, and then also sometimes people will send me packs and man, that's awesome. Um, so the ones I don't rip uh, or do a car rip or whatever, I'll put them in here and I'll save them for my kiddo. And then on this side, I have kind of an order. No, not really an order, that's, that's not true. Uh, but divide a little bit by, by height. Um, these are a bunch of packs and all of these packs, they're team bagged, and then in here I have a note. And that note is a special note to my son. And when I pass away, um, he will get these boxes full of cards with notes from me, and we'll be able to open cards together. So um, baseball, football, there's some hockey in here. Of course there's some Pokemon. Of course there's Pokemon. And my plan is to have a letter to him. Maybe I'll put it up here or something that tells him, you know, these are for him. He can do what he wants with them. He can sit down and open them all. Or he can open one a day. He can open them when he's feeling sad or when he's feeling happy or just when he wants to connect. And these are my notes. So these are some of these are just well wishes. Some of these are memories. Some of these are, are my hopes and my dreams for him. Um, and my plan is to just make boxes to help him. Um, with the transition, I guess is the nicest way to put it. But I'm going to use all these packs to do it, and then I'll keep adding until I can't add any more. But it was time to uh, do my next round. And so I was going to put some of those together uh, while we sit and chat, if that's okay. So what I really wanted to talk about was just the hobby, but just the family. So like so much of this hobby I love, it's it makes me feel like I'm 10 again. Uh, looking at baseball cards and thinking about your your baseball heroes and just collecting in general and putting stuff in order. Um, this, is, this is stuff I did as a kid. So doing it as an adult still makes me feel like a kid. And that's pretty awesome. You know, you have your, your daily struggles of life, putting food on the table, dealing with oh, the sh just the stress of... Uh, being being the head of the household and uh, trying to manage everybody's problems and making sure that everybody gets the proper amount of attention and everything they need, um, as well as you know trying to plan for the future because you can't just plan for today. And so you have the work stress, you have the stress of you have to play the short game and the long game. Uh, you have to be able to pivot and be ready for everything that life throws at you. And we all know that life will keep you on your toes. So <laughs> it does feel like every time you get a little leg up, like you're getting, getting a little something done, a little foothold, something, something comes and smacks you back down. Um, and I am pretty sure that is not just me. So, you know, you're, you know, you finally, uh, got your tax return back, but then your car blows up or, you're, you know, you got you, you get two paydays this month or three paydays this month, and then your AC goes out. So it's like, 
as soon as you feel like you're going to be okay for a minute, something comes and there is, there's a surprise. <laughs> so um, that's just life, man. Life is never going to be perfect for anybody. It doesn't matter how financially well off you are, um, how wonderful your home life is. There's always going to be something that throws you for a loop. And I don't know, maybe that's just God's, God's way of making sure that we don't get complacent, if that's your thing, uh, or whatever. I mean, I don't think it matters how good of a person you are, you're going to struggle. And that is, that's just it. You're going to lose somebody you love. You're going to have, you know, changes in your career. Uh, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? But something's going to happen. And that is just it. And so if you get depressed thinking about all the things that could happen or that are, are going to happen, um, you're not going to take the time to sit back and enjoy the time you have right now. Because in 20 years, when maybe you've made a little bit more money and you're more financially stable and maybe you're looking at retirement or maybe you're already going to be retired or whatever it is, whatever you accomplished in those 20 years, I can pretty much guarantee you that you'll be, you'd be willing to give it all up to get your 20 years back. There's no amount of money that's going to fix it. There's no, you know, there's no, nothing that's going to find that pause button on your kids growing up. I wish I keep looking for the pause and the reverse button. I, love being a dad and sometimes I get a little stressed out thinking that he's growing up so fast and before I know it my best friend's gonna be off to college or whatever his next step is and I am gonna be gonna be floored I'm gonna be devastated I don't know what I'm gonna do um so part of part of playing the long game and the short game is um Stuff like this. So, you know, I got to do little things, right? You make sure that we're having fun while we're here and make, making sure that he, I try to help him do things to enjoy being a kid because that's, man, that, that time where you get to be a kid is fleeting. I mean, hell, that's why I'm doing this hobby thing, right? It's me trying to connect to, to the 10 year old version of me. Well, he's still, you know, he's 12. So he gets to still be the 12 year old version of him. Um, Man, that's amazing. That's amazing. And like I said, I mean, most of us would give up anything to be able to do it again, whether that's because um, you miss the the freedom to do all those things, the the less responsibility, or maybe you've you've lost people, like I've lost people, and I would give anything to to get my people back. Um, but you got to roll with the punches. So what I just did is I took I took my note. My personal note, I'm not going to read, read it to you. Um, I put it around this pack, and then I usually give it a little blue tape because, frankly, it seems like I tape everything. But it holds it nice and neat, and then I'll just slide it in this box. It's that easy. Um, and what I do is I usually have a, a, Word, a Word document or something up, and um, when I think of stuff, I'll just write it down. Or maybe something will happen that day. And uh, I'll be like, hey, today's date is X, Y, and Z, and this happened today. It was hilarious. Or ah, I was just thinking about how much I love you. Or you did something today that reminded me of your grandmother. Or stuff like that. Stuff like that. And it's just my memories and things things I, I want him to remember or just to know. Um, there's some stuff in here telling him that, you know, this is my hope for you. Like you're, you'll be able to, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into it because it's personal. So, um, but it is what it is. And I think this is, this is just my way of knowing that I'm not going to be around forever. And he knows that. And, and I think, you know, when you're 12, you know that, but you don't really know that, right? You don't expect, you know that your parents aren't going to be alive forever but you don't expect to lose him anytime soon. And, you know, I lost my mom when she was 51 and, uh, and it was in a blink of an eye. And, uh, you know, those aren't, those aren't, 
things you get over. And what I wouldn't give for a goodbye note or some kind of well wishes or something, something. I have I have uh, a voicemail telling me that she's going to the doctor, the hospital real quick if I wanted to go. And uh, it was on a Friday afternoon. I had just got done with a, a meeting at work and I headed over there and in the blink of an eye, she's gone. And it wasn't, it wasn't uh, anything that was, that was just for some diagnostics. We weren't like, she's going to the hospital in the, in the ambulance or anything like that. And it's just, the point is you never know. And while we're talking about you never know, please, 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 please get your stuff in order. So make sure you have a will. Make sure somewhere you have your wishes for what you want to happen. Whether you want to be cremated, whether you want to be buried, whether you want to be lost at sea, whatever. I mean, whatever you want, make sure that's written down and that somebody knows where to find it. Passwords to stuff. I know people are like, don't. You're not supposed to put your passwords down. People can find it. Man, I get hacked. My credit card gets stolen every year. So I don't know how much more careful I can be, but... If you have some kind of uh, security note in your house or in a safe or something so your loved one knows what to do, I can tell you right now, um, all my accounts and important information and passwords and what's where, because I because that all that goes through me, I take care of all that stuff. My wife doesn't do any of that. She doesn't, she, she knows it gets taken care of. Like, bills come in, they get, they get taken care of. That's what she knows. Um... But if I'm not here anymore, then she's going to have to figure it out. And that's a lot. It's a lot to figure out, you know, what, you know, what, what are account numbers for whatever services you have? And who do you talk to when this happens? And um, who's, who, what's the mechanic that you like to use? And um, who's our AC guy again? And what do we do when the, the faucet's leaking? And um any of that stuff like that's whatever you can do to give your loved ones uh, make it a little easier on them um, please do it please do it and it's so important to have your end of life stuff ready so what what you want to happen like I personally don't really want a funeral um, it's <laughs> frankly I've been to a, a too many of them um, I don't I don't want to, I don't want people to go to my funeral. I told them I'd rather just her open a tab at, at the bar and let everybody come and have a good time and uh, tell stories and make happy memories with themselves. So just go and have a good time. Don't, don't worry about me. I'm, I'm gone. You know, stop worrying about me and just enjoy yourself because I want the people I love to be happy. Um, you know, my, I, I, other people are like, no, I want a big funeral and I want, I want everybody to know, you know, I should, I, I should do this because, you know, I, I did so much for everybody else and, and, uh, you know, that's what they want. They want a big religious funeral and that's, that's cool too. It's whatever you want. It's whatever you want. But the point is, is if you don't, if you don't make your wishes known, then it's harder on the people. Sorry left behind because they have to try to figure out what they think you would have wanted and then they have to live with did I do right by you did I do what you wanted me to do would you have made these decisions um, all of that kind of stuff and it's hard it's hard on the ones you've left and so I really encourage you to get your stuff together Also, um, if you have a bunch of kids or grandkids or whatever, and um, you have some assets, you really, really, really need to outline what you want to go and where. And I know a lot of you are thinking, Justin, this is really morbid thinking about debt and all the other stuff. It's not. It's responsible. And it shows the people that you've left behind that you love them, that you took the time 
to get it all together. And it's important. It really is important. And uh, getting it done is not expensive. It's not, you know, there is a price if you're gonna go to attorney or whatever. There's probably some free options um, to do basic stuff. I think you're probably gonna get notarized. You can do that at the bank real easy. Um, so, I mean, there's some steps. I mean, it's not, you don't get to just snap your finger and it gets done. It does take some effort. Um, but I really encourage you to get it done. It's well, well worth it. Um, help, help the people you love during your transition. Um, what else? That's it. That's it, really. Just hoping that everybody just takes a minute to realize that what we're doing is fun and that life, life is fun if you let it be fun. But to also realize that it's finite and that this party is not going to go on forever. Um, know that, you know, you're as young and as healthy as you're going to get right now. So uh, enjoy the time you got. What I wouldn't give for my 18-year-old body back, my 20-year-old body back. Uh, but it's gone. And I'm never going to get it back. And my knees and back are going to hurt forever. But, you know, what I can guarantee you is in 20 years when I have time to travel because I'm hopefully retired or whatever, um, my back and knees are going to hurt even more then than they do now. Um, so really, and like I said, you're going to, there's not much you're not going to want to give up that you wouldn't give up in 20 years, uh, no matter what it is to get that time back, but you can't, man, once it's gone, it's gone. It's finite. Um, and this, you know, this hobby and this YouTube community that I enjoy so much, it serves a purpose for me. It's not. It's not a time. It's not a time suck for me. It's. It's. It's a. It's a. It's a relaxing thing for me. Um, hell, I don't know. This may have prevented me from having a stroke. Uh, that and stopping watching the news every day. Um, I do feel like I just got back from a business trip. Uh, I do kind of feel uninformed sometimes when people mention something, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't. I was like, I don't know. I stopped watching news because it gave, is going to give me an ulcer. Um, so sometimes I do feel uninformed. But frankly, politics, good goodness, it is hard to stomach. All that stuff's going on. And I don't know. For me, for me, I needed a break. And that's, I've, I've taken about a, a year or so off of daily news content and uh, I feel like I'm better for it. But uh, that's it. So that's this is what I do. This is part of my this is part of my strategy for helping my kiddo um, when I'm gone. And I hope it, I hope it works. I hope it helps. Um, my I like I have other things like um, and you need paper too. Like. Write down instructions. Don't just leave it on a computer that's locked that nobody can get into, because they're not gonna they're not gonna um, take it to some geek squad to have them break it, break into it, and try to figure out all your passwords and stuff. Just make it easy. Stop making it so damn hard. Just let them know where it is. Um, I have letters to the people I love um, with important documents and instructions, and then I have um, yeah, that's it. It's not that hard. It just takes a little bit of effort. And once you set it up, it's a lot easier to maintain. Easier to maintain. Like your TCB, TCDB, like my Donnie Baseballs. Logging on my Donnie Baseballs at, at first was a nightmare. It took forever. But updating them when, when I get some new ones, not that bad. Not that bad at all. And I get the joy of seeing how my collection's growing. So, and how, you know, because I'm, I'm, I don't have an ego about it, but I find it fun to see how my collection compares to other people's collections. That's not really ego. I mean, I do want to be like number one, I'm not going to be, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's fun for me. And uh, again, that's, that's what this hobby is supposed to be all about. Worried about how long this one is. This one got a little wordy. Uh, I need to find a tall pack for that. How about, how about, how about Japanese Pokemon? Will that work? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. This one is a, yeah, 
a story and some well wishes and some hopes on that one. So that's fun. And so then I'll put it in my team bag. I'll put it in my my ready to go ready to go stack. Uh, I'll keep filling my uh, fuel to add to it. And that really is that's it. So uh, thank you for hanging out with me for a little bit. I know this is kind of a heavy subject. Um, but as somebody who loses somebody he loves almost every year, um, understand that what we have is finite, it's limited, enjoy your time, uh, but know that when you leave, the people who love you are going to be devastated. And just do whatever you can now to try to help them through that process. Um, it'll make it a lot easier for them. So you won't care, but they, but know that they'll appreciate it. That's it. One good nerd out. Uh, sorry to say heavy, but uh, love the hobby. Uh, I, I love you all for hanging out with me and uh, just participating. And I appreciate you for helping me uh, keep my blood pressure down. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye. You're a nerd. Come again? You are a nerd. Okay, you better take that back, nerd. Can't put the truth back in the box.